The LAPD is investigating a deadly officer involved shooting that happened in downtown LA Skid Row. The suspect was killed. It happened just before noon on the 500 block of South San Pedro. That's near 6th Street. KCAL 9's Christy Fajardo is live outside LAPD headquarters in downtown LA with the latest on the shooting investigation. Christy. Andrea's cell phone video of the shooting has already made national headlines, which is why just a short while ago, the LAPD came out and made a statement. They tell us that three officers opened fire, including a sergeant, after the suspect allegedly tried to grab one of the officer's firearms. Frozen the video, but left the audio up because we can't show someone dying on the air. Oh. Here is the video again. Witnesses say the man tackled to the ground had been disputing with another man when the LAPD showed up. The person in the front grabs an officer's nightstick, but it's the man in the back you should be watching. Drop the gun. The sound of a taser is also audible. Then one shot. The LAPD says the shooting is still under investigation. During a news conference this afternoon, a spokesperson didn't say how many shots were fired or by whom. On their arrival, uh, they made contact with the suspect, and during that contact, an altercation occurred. In the meantime, a second video of the shooting would also surface and make the rounds on social media. That's where Police Commission President Steve Soboroff said he first saw the shooting. He confirms tonight the key to the investigation will be whether the man in the video tried to grab an officer's gun and adds the DA and Independent Inspector General will also be investigating very carefully. Now, people who knew the man who was killed tell us he'd been living on Skid Row for about six months and did have battles with mental illness. Now, tonight, the LAPD tells us all three officers are on paid administrative leave. Police tell us they are also looking for videos. They believe there are multiple angles out there. And they also say that some of the officers might have been wearing body cameras, so they want to look at that video. In the meantime, they are asking the public to reserve judgment until the investigation is complete. Live outside LAPD headquarters, Christy Fajardo, KCAL 9 News.